Hello everyone, welcome to another pack opening video and for this video I will be opening gold mount packs. So with the return of all the gold packs, uh, gold mount packs are one of the more expensive packs. They actually cost 1500 cartel coins while a gold armor pack which is one of my favorites only cost 1200 cartel coins. Recently I did a pack opening of 20 of these packs, got a lot of really really great stuff. You see the remnants of that in my cargo bays and I only picked up 3 gold mount packs so far. The reason being I do think gold armor packs are the better pack to buy. I have had, I've not had too much luck with the gold mount packs uh, in the past. I remember opening about a few of them, I did end up getting a command throne, but from the other gold armor packs I opened, a lot of it was kind of crap, and I think it's going to be even worse nowadays because Bioware has introduced a lot of really really bad gold mounts with the recent cartel packs. Uh, it seems as a kind of like a trend that Bioware has, where in the cartel packs you always give like one good beast mount or something that's gold rarity, and then they have just this one random gold mount that always sells for next to nothing on the GTN. Recently with the Eternal Command pack, that was the TC Voyager, which is only going for like 200 to 300k on the GTN. A few other examples is from the Revenge pack, we have the Frontline Gapillion, and from the um, same pack you also have the Vectron Enforcer, those all sold for next to nothing. But in the first pack here, are we going to get something bad? It is the Junland Dubak. Not too bad of a drop, I'll talk about it later, but let's just quickly get to the pack opening first, see if maybe we can get a command throne. Uh, the second one is the Corellian Star Drive Spark. Ugh, that's a bad, that's a bad drop. Alright, next pack is Marsh Hunter Ackley. Okay, actually not as bad as of a pack opening as I thought it was going to be, but also, as you guys can see, not one of the greatest. If you're hunting for a command throne or one of those other really rare mounts, you're probably not going to get it. But, um... But okay, I guess uh, this was one of the downsides of doing this opening in a cantina. I just wanted the cantina music in the background. If you're not hearing any cantina music in the background, that probably means it got copyright strike and we needed to re-edit the video and take it out, which sucks. But um, I like having Star Wars music in the background. I think it adds a, an element of Star Wars-ness to the video. But anyways, going back to what the pack opening was, um, the Jundai Dubek was an okay drop. I guess we're going to see what it sells for on the GTN because although it's a rare drop, uh, these t uh, types of mounts tend to go down in value when a silver version of them is released. And recently we had the Ember Scale Dubek or something of that nature, which was a silver rarity cartel market, uh, not cartel market, silver rarity pack item. And it sold for pretty cheap on the GTN. Okay, my item stash is bugging out right now, so let's see if I can fix that. There we go. Okay, the Corellian Star Drive Spark was another one, which is a bad drop, I would say, because it comes out of the Plunderer's Packs, and it's one of those kind of bad gold mounts that didn't sell too well back when the Plunderer Packs were available. I'm not sure where it's going from the GTN now, but uh, but even if it's going for a high price, I doubt it sells at that high price. It's not one of those type of popular mounts that people are willing to pay high prices for. The Marsh Hunter Ackley, on the other hand, is up for 19 million. Will it sell at that price? Maybe I'll test it out. I doubt it. But the Junlan Dubak is only going up here for 2.5 million credits. It's actually a pretty nice mount and that is a ch pretty cheap price. I'm going to pick it up actually. I usually buy gold mounts for like 2 million credits. So, And as you guys can see, the Corellian Star Drive Spark was up for 2.2 million credits. But, uh, but once again, I don't even think it will really sell at that price. I'm really biased against these types of gold mounts like the Corellian Star Drive Spark, the Vectron Enforcer, the TC Voyager. Uh, I just don't think they're very popular. I don't think they're very nice personally. And, um, and it goes to show by how low it goes on the GTN. Now this wasn't one, uh, I don't think opening three gold mount packs was really representative. I was kind of hoping for uh, one really, really good item. So I think I'll actually pick up two more gold mount packs and see if we can't maybe get something really, really great. I do think this pack has the potential of dropping a really amazing gold mount. I've had it done in the past. Um, a year ago, I only opened four gold mount packs. One of them was the Command Throne, which I sold for like next to nothing on the GTN. I only sold it for like seven mil. And for those of you who think that's a lot, well, now it's going for like 50 million and I've seen people ask for it in chat for like 30 40 million credits so let's hope let's see if we can maybe get something like that okay it seems as though I've accidentally skipped through the first pack I don't know how I did that but the second pack contains the Vectron WGF veteran is that the Jack Who mount that Ray has uh, that was released in the um, scavenger pack I don't know it kind of looked like it but I skipped through it too fast I don't know why <laughs> Okay, the first pack we got, I mean, the first mount we got was the Churka Incendia. That is definitely a cartel market item. And the second um, item here, we'll see what it goes for on the GTN. Uh, this is the Vectron War Veteran. Okay. So the Incendia goes for uh, 21 million credits, but 
once again, you always have to be wary about whether it's whether it sells for that price. And the Vectron War Veteran is not a very good looking mount at all. It's selling for 12.4 million. But um, but as you guys can see, that auction has four hours left on it, which meant it was up there for like a whole day and no one bought it. So uh, and here we go. It is a cartel market item. It does cost 1500 cartel coins. Not sure why. It's a pretty ugly mount. But the Incendia Speeder does cost 1500 cartel coins as well. Now, you're going to be getting a lot of these cartel market type uh, mounts and, what, and armor sets from opening these packs. And one of the things I would caution you guys against is taking GTN prices too seriously because one of the uh, characteristics of these types of items is they're on the cartel market for a very, very long time. So anyone that kind of wanted it probably picked it up a long time ago and people put it up for insane prices on the GTN, but they very rarely sell. Uh, so just I'd caution you guys against taking GTN prices too literally for those. However, it did cost 1500 cartel coins and I did pay 1500 cartel coins for a gold mount So I wouldn't say that I lost cartel coins or anything But nonetheless, it wasn't one of the greatest and that is why I simply say if you're gonna pay uh, Cartel coins or credits for these things just buy gold armor packs. They're a lot nicer You have a higher chance of getting something really good and invariably they are cheaper uh, And so just pick those up if you do want but I did promise I would do a pack opening for them I do hope you guys enjoyed the video if you guys are planning on opening these things. I wish you luck may the force be with you and i will see you in the next one